Yeah. Like, you, you can't do this in change, college. Yeah. You can't do this <laughs> oh, in college. We can do this in college. We can do yeah. everything. <laughs> Now maybe everyone should introduce themselves. Assuming everyone knows me. That sounded so conceited. Uh, I'm Niels. I'm, uh, I'm Dutch. I'm in my fourth year now of uh, media and information. Um, just I was in SCC, uh, SEO Travel <laughs> Committee two years ago. Antonio, I'm from the US. I'm a second year uh, media and information student. And last year I was in the MAAC committee. Yeah. Go next, I guess. Uh, I'm Alice. I'm Italian, and I'm a second year meeting culture information. I just had a stroke. Meeting culture student. And last year I was in the acquisition committee. Hi, I'm Levi. I'm from Luxembourg. Uh, I'm here because of Sheena. I'm in no committee. <laughs> my name is Diana. I'm from Brazil. I started my first year, like in September, now media and information. And I'm Charlotte, I am Dutch Italian, and I am a second year media and culture student, and I'm in the social activities committee. Um, I'm Sheena, I'm also a first year media and culture student, and I'm from Austria. And I'm in the reporter committee, obviously. <laughs> um, my name is Meryl, or Meryl, um, and I'm in the reporter committee, I'm Belgian, I'm a first year media and culture. Pulp Fiction is overrated. I've never seen Pulp Fiction. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> that's already an answer. And it's yeah, <laughs> that's an answer in itself. <laughs> I'd always say someone disagree. Like, I, I haven't really seen that much hype around it, to be honest. Maybe I've just been living underneath the rock, but like, I don't know. I, I, I only recently saw Pulp Fiction. I, I liked it. Well, I think that it's hyped for the wrong reason. Like, there's a lot. It's kind of just like a bandwagon. People say it's cool, so everyone says it's cool. While I do think that Pulp Fiction is a good film, it's also not the best. So it, it just depends on your taste. You know, there's also a lot of blood involved, so it's not for everybody. And I think that it's a good film. Also, Tarantino is kind of, um, how do I put this, problematic. So it's yeah. kind of like, am I allowed to like it? I would say somewhat disagree just because of like how iconic it was. I don't know. I haven't heard too many people talk about it recently. So I, I feel like it's just the right amount of hype. I, I should just remember it. I did watch the film and it was so underwhelming. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's also just a really unpopular opinion, but I don't like Tarantino. From the films that I have seen from Tarantino, I feel like he introduces a lot of like maybe too much violence and I just don't really like that style. So maybe that's also why I would say just from not having seen the movie, I don't think I would like it because I, I just know that there is a lot of violence in it. That if you don't like watching violence, you should not watch a Tarantino movie. Like you should yeah. never see The Hateful Eight because you're just not going to enjoy it. Then the second question, the COVID-19 pandemic has made studying at the University of Amsterdam more difficult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think anyone is going to disagree with that. Um, no. <laughs> when it started, I had to write my thesis, which was honestly like a pretty good timing like, that I got some like electives and some other course. I kind of miss going actually to, to uni. I've never been to campus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, <Yeah>. so tragic. <laughs> my first year's experience because you don't get to know anyone. Like the only way I get to know people was like through off screen. But now that the pubs are closed, then there's not even that. It's out a lot on like useful conversation with the students because when you're in class you can have a conversation after class and just like discuss and you end up learning from your fellow students. So like, it's very, very demotivating like sometimes when I'm in this breakout rooms and nobody says even hello good morning it's just like so demotivating because it's just like yeah what the hell are we doing? Most, <laughs> yeah. most classes yeah. there's no like cameras on and all. Like, are you talking to a robot or are you talking to a person? I just, I completely agree. It's so alienating to just be in a Zoom call, and I'm so thankful that I had a first semester that was normal and that I got to enjoy kind of the university experience and everything before COVID came around and fucked everything. As no, much no. as academics is important and learning things is part of university, such a huge chunk of it is just going out, making friends getting drunk, you know, doing things you're not supposed to be doing, going to a lecture, super hungover, and while you can do it on Zoom, it's just not the same about that. Like, 
keeping friendships like not even just making friendships is more yeah. difficult but keeping them because yeah. I mean I yeah I was a big part of off screen last year and I went to a lot of the meetings and a lot of the trips and I felt really a part of it and I still know that there's yeah. off screen like borals happening online and everything but it's just not the same like socializing feels like such a great effort right now like while well before it felt natural right now you're like oh I have to actually text people or like FaceTime them to, you know, talk to people. And yeah, I can especially imagine if you're like a foreign student and this is where you come, you come to Amsterdam to, to meet new people, yeah. to, to get away from, well, not necessarily the people, but the situation you were in before. And yeah, there must be such a drag. Like I'm, I'm happy that I've already done three years in Amsterdam. Yeah. I had to move back in with my parents. That shit is not ideal. I haven't even gone back home in a year. Like it's been a year since I've seen my family. Like, yeah. COVID created a lot of distance, whether it be yeah. physical or emotional. Yeah, my my dad he lives in in Qatar, and uh, they're really strict there with the regulations to like fly in and fly out. So me and my mom, my sister, we live in the Netherlands, but we hadn't seen from when COVID started in March. We hadn't seen him until July, and then. We only saw him for a little while then, and then he came again for Christmas. But, but there was always the question, like, is he able to come back here or not? Uh, my mom isn't gonna, isn't able to like go to him. So it's creating not only distance like in class, but also just like in our personal lives. Hmm. In the beginning, it was hard for me to make friends. It was easier like in September because the pubs were open and the weather was fine. So with off screen, we could still do stuff. So that was actually like working well for me. And then after everything closed, it's like, I haven't made new friends. I just keep the people that I already have. And honestly, um, it depends on like how you would define a friend. As in, was it hard for me to socialize in the beginning of the year, like August, September? Not at all, actually like every day and up becoming actual friends that you like, like to head up, that you like to spend your time with, or it's more of like a necessity because you don't know anybody else. This would be so insulting to so many people. <laughs> no, I could really say. Oh, this yeah. is a safe space. Just. <laughs> I, I could really say I've made a lot of friends this year, but It'll of course I've met a lot of people, but it does not equal. It, so yeah, that's that. I would also yeah. imagine it to be more difficult if you live by yourself, because I don't know. I would just get super lonely right away. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. No, but I, I'm glad that. Off screen was there to to help me uh, socialize and well my my best friends here now I met through off screen so I I agree when I first moved to the Netherlands I didn't know anyone and I found housing through the university and I lived with like fifteen or sixteen other people in one flat which was a lot because I'm an only child and I'm not used to sharing so it was kind of a shock at first not gonna lie but I it, I it made me meet so many people and a lot of like introductory events that made me meet a lot of people which helped and then off screen obviously shut out it definitely made me meet a lot of friends I went on some trips and then I was in a committee and so I kind of just naturally socialized it really helped me create kind of a network of friendships not all of them like you know good friends some of them are just acquaintances but I think it's also important to just not be close with everyone you meet you know and I mean it's kind of hard to move on from acquaintances when you know everything just shuts down <laughs> but I got lucky because yeah. my initial work group that we had we all I don't know it was like the nicest work group I could have had where everyone just kind of got along we had a big group chat where we would send memes I think part of it was because we had this terrible terrible teacher so we all kind of unified in our hatred. But teachers named Mark, they're either amazing or horrible. There's no between. <laughs> Mark Doys. Yeah. Mark, shout Mark out Dois. to Mark Doys. So let's go. <laughs> Studying media has showed me that I really want to work in the media field. It's kind of tricky. It's kind of tricky. Uh, I'll tell you why. Because in my case, in some fields it's shown me I want to work with. And it's also shown me I don't want to work in certain media fields. So it's kind of solidified my um, interest in cinema and my kind of wanting to work in cinema. But it's also shown me that I do not want to work in like, I don't know, big data and stuff like that. Like I hate algorithms and <laughs> I didn't hate them before, same, I hate them same. now. <laughs> um, so it, it's helped me kind of understand what I want to do and also what I don't want to do. See, that, that's the thing that that was 
it's one of my favorite classes because yeah oh my god like Neil you just lost I actually really class. enjoyed it as well is that like the most of those topics discussed there really like is what I'm interested in I, I like I I do agree that yeah the the, the whole uh this is studying media has helped me decide that but I have no clue what I want to do because in in media and information what kind of jobs are there like what, what kind of things are you going to do that aren't like hey do you want to be the social media guy for this company no I do not want to be your social media guy <laughs> Honestly, hearing that from a fourth year, it is so... <laughs> yeah, it's just because it's such a new program in general and, and people don't really know yet why they need people with our expertise, that what we learn in this yeah. program. Like, I don't know, you only realize your, the importance of media once you study media. Like companies see social media as something that they can like invest like 20 bucks in and that's fine, but now that's becoming the way that people discover companies and like i i said disagree not because i don't want to work in media but because i don't think that studying media made me want to do it it was something beforehand our study is so vague in a way so it's really good like you have a lot of choice later on and it is quite true that when you say media it's always just social media but i mean also with the other things you have i think it was charles who said oh yeah she wants to do some sort of film later not probably, not necessarily because of the study, but definitely something with film. I mean, that is something that you can do with this study. And really, I mean, when we decided to, I mean, I decided to study this because I didn't really have a plan. But when people pick this study, I think they're quite aware of like what the job market looks like. And yeah, it's that's like you're the... either not going to have a job or, you know, hi, Pornhub. <laughs> a, a running gag, sort of. You start to... with of questions and you finish with more questions than you started exactly. with yeah. but also you're going to finish your degree and you're going to be in your 20s and you don't have to have your life figured out in your 20s no, right? no of course i agree with that and i also think it's interesting like we still don't know what a post covid like situation looks like and i mean covid has already made media so important because i mean we're all stuck inside we're using it to talk right now like also fake <laughs> news Fake news is a whole thing, been, yeah, and yeah, I feel like us, I don't know, we're going to be popping up in different ways, whether it be like going through Twitter to find fake news, maybe that's a job we'll have in the future, or like decoding a deep fake and seeing if it's, you know. An I stress too much about my grades. I mean, I think I just, I wouldn't say I was stressed too much about it, but I, I say I would care about it just because I don't know how the media industry how much they would look at someone's grades so that's why i wanted mm -hmm. to or want to keep a relatively high yeah. gpa but and at the same time i also now i don't care as much let's say but in the first two or first one and a half years because of the study abroad programs they have also like a certain gpa that you have to maintain to get accepted into it in other universities so yeah. i was like okay that's a really something i really want to do so that's why mm -hmm. i wanted to get a good gpa no, but sure. other than that, I wouldn't say that that's I, yeah. why I wanted, I would stress mm -hmm. too much about it. Yeah. I think also like in Brazil, we were very focused on grades and it was quite tough, the system there. So like back then, I feel like I was pretty worried about my grades, but I also started to get a little like burnt out from it. So I guess when I started uni here, I already had like the purpose of doing something that wasn't gonna like stress me out too much. So with lots of other um, reasons that's why I chose media and I feel like our course is actually pretty chill like it's not super hard I don't get stressed yeah. so like mm -hmm. that's working well for me because I can't deal with stress so much. I also understood how much grades don't matter like they so it's kind of just like it's just the number and it's I don't know I feel like academic intelligence and intelligence are two different things so while grades are important I think that they don't matter as much as I thought they did. I, I, I kind of stress about my grades a lot and I put a lot of importance to them and even if I do well I'll still beat myself up about not doing as well. I feel like that's kind of a big thing but I just know that at the end of the day like, the degree matters less than making connections with other people like yeah especially in media I would say. yeah especially yeah. in media because chances are you're not going to find your first job by applying like if you want to be in the film industry you're not going to find your first job by like sitting down and do, just handing your resume to like a producer or something like chances are it's going to be your friend that you know who's like hey i need an extra 
like hand on this project I'm doing. And then I feel like yeah. it's more about the connections you make and how, how willing you are to put yourself out there and kind of become a part of it. But also, I feel like this is kind of related to the first question, because for me, uh, first year, again, really coming from high school to here, I, I've never even felt once the pressure to have good grades, just because to me, for me, I haven't even really started university yet. I'm sitting here at my flat, have never been once to university, and really, if they tell you, oh, yeah, assignment in one month, I'm like, okay, going to do it the day before.